that uh, scientific basis of yeah, you can give him one book. Uh, Dr. Gerson has promised that he'll read every single one of your books before he writes his book. He's very That's serious. Very kind of. We have got about 50 books. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. <laughs> and it is increasing. For us, in the next two months, we shall increase another 17 books. There are 17 books pending to be published. They have not done. So I am sitting here to see that this is published within two months. <laughs> so therefore they are working day and night in the editorial department, printing department. We have got very nice arrangement for working. So probably what these tests will show is that when the person came first, he was doing some drugs or some nonsense, and now that he's taking the Krishna consciousness, he's become so much more of a healthy and wholesome that person. That is the test. That is the test. That is the real test. How uh, we got so many devotees from the hippie group. So how they have given up all the bad habits. This oh, is the real, is the real test. test. So the function of this testing is to show that that, that change takes place in a way that other scientists will accept it. That is his purpose. Oh, that's nice. And that is already admitted by educated class. Therefore, they are becoming attractive. Well, there are still many who aren't familiar with the yes, movement, and I, I hope to uh, familiarize But them. I say that even there is something wrong, it is not impediment. Opite sudurachara bhajate imamananda Even if you find in devotee something bad, but because he's Krishna conscious, he has no other business. He is sadhu. In India also, they are still making so much propaganda. They are making propaganda that these American devotees, they are CIA. <laughs> this propaganda is very strong in India, making the people against these American boys who are preaching. The so-called human society means the society of the cheaters and cheated. Most of those who, who come to see me are the cheated. And you also cheat them. I, <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Very good view. I would like to show them a path so that they won't be cheated any but longer. You, provided you know the path. I'm trying to learn. So first of all, learn it. Otherwise, you'll be cheating. If you do not know the art, and if you want to uh, do some benefit to the art, then that is cheating. Suppose a physician, he does not know what is the medical science, and if he wants to become a physician, that is cheating. Quack. <laughs> I, I hope through the study that I'm doing with the devotees and the books that comes out of it that it will help them not be cheated any longer and show them the right way. Yeah. He's advising his patients that they should chant Hare Krishna and come to the temple. Then it is good. <laughs> <laughs> then you are friend. Another thing I would like to do is, is go to Gurukul and test the children and show what NBC did was very false and unfair. The television, they did a very bad story on Gurukula. Yes, that the cheater. Mm. He wants to cheat and get some money. That's all. He wants because to because the whole so-called human society is combination of cheater and cheated. So anyone who is acting without Krishna consciousness is a cheater, and anyone who is thinking himself at once without Krishna consciousness, he is cheating. This is the basic truth. I mean Krishna consciousness, God consciousness. Without God consciousness, everyone is cheating.